Hello, and welcome to iMovie Outside the Box, the tutorial channel where I will try to help you get more professional looking iMovie videos. Today's video will look at how to get a security camera footage filter in your video, such as the one you would see in a paranormal activity movie or any found footage film. Now, before you even think of applying this effect to your project, make sure you have all the footage that you want to apply this effect to imported and put in the project exactly how you want it to appear. Get all your sound effects, your transitions, all that in now because there is a way to make sure all of your videos have the same exact settings. Once you have all the footage that you want to apply this effect to, go to the very first clip, select it, go to the last clip that you want to apply the effect to, in this case the end of my video, hold down the shift key and click that. It should select all of the footage in between. Now if you have your footage spaced out, you can always select one and command click to select other videos if you don't want to apply it to the entire project. Once you have your video selected, go to any one of them, it doesn't matter, go to the gear drop down box and go to clip adjustments. Video effect has this awesome raster which puts the lines in it as if it's a security camera video. Select that. As you can see it applied that to every clip in my selection. The next thing you want to do if you want to make your footage even spookier is go back into the gear menu and go to video adjustments. And you can see down here there are color slider bars. This will tint the footage of your video to be a certain color. If you want all the footage in your selection to be blue, take down the red a bit, put the blue up all the way. It all depends on your personal preferences. If you take the red all the way down, you can see on my shirt there, hardly any red shows. But if you want some color differences, leave a bit of the red up. You still get the ambient blue feeling, but it also includes other colors as well, so it may not look too dull. Down here in this wheel, you can adjust the white point of your video, which makes an effect even more pronounced. Like I said, you can play with the sliders how you want to. If you want to have like a a green night vision look to it, you can boost up the green and take away some of the other colors. That'll give all of my videos a green effect as you can see. But due to the fact that all of the clips are selected, they're all equally set to the same settings. That way you don't have to keep going in and doing it or worrying about some of them not looking right compared to the others. One thing you'll notice is that when you do that, your cutaway effect cannot be shift or command selected with your other footage. And if you have more than one cutaway effect, you can still only select one at a time. So if you are using any cutaways, note that you will have to do these separately and individually. What I do is I go to video adjustments, I take a screenshot of the settings that I have, uh, the shortcut is shift command 4 you can drag the crosshairs over the screen portion you want to capture it'll take a picture of it and what you can then do is bring it up in a separate window and that'll show you the exact settings you need for any other clips you have to match with your other ones that way they all look visually similar and that's all there is to it once you've completed those steps you're done this effect would be great for any found footage film, if you're having a type of action movie where there's security camera footage involved, or if you're trying to make a horror film similar to the Paranormal Activity movies. You can change the settings based on what you want your finished project to look like. All you have to do after that is export it, and it's done, ready for playback. I just took some of the random footage that I've gathered over the years and I made a short video to give you an example of what one of your projects could look like if you use this effect. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, I have many more videos on the way. I'm also open to any suggestions or requests, leave them in the comments also. This has been iMovie Outside the Box, and I'll see you next time. Good luck editing.